let's just talk about a heat map for a second because I don't think that's a common concept that everybody understands, right? So, so some people call it a heat map, right? Some people call it a road map, right? Some people, but, but generally, right, it's a plan for getting to a more mature state, right? Is that fair to say? Okay, and so so tell me, like, so let's talk just about that because I think that is the linchpin of so many of these presentations. And and just talk about how you use that with a board, right? Just generically, if you've developed your roadmap or your security roadmap or you've developed your heat map, talk a little bit about how you use that with the board and what that conversation actually looks like. Because I think that's really, like when you think about the sort of the practical, again, like that's all, a lot of the stuff that you talk about is like in theory it's really great, but like practically how, do you, how does somebody like you stand up in front of the board and articulate that complicated idea of like, here's where we are and here's where we want to go? Yeah, it, it's a great question. I think you got to continue to kind of, you know, pull back the onion on it. All right, so we started the, the conversation around you know red yellow and green so we kept it simple we had to translate it into things that was important to them to uh, capabilities that was important to them so when we talked about um, you know protection of the ship in the in the uh, satellite um, communication why was that important right which is that's what runs our ship from not only from a navigation but engines and things of that sort so we continue to kind of correlate you know, a very technical, um, you know, component or project that we were doing in business capability mm -hmm. uh, words that, that made sense to them. Um, and then they added to that. Well, geez, if that's important, what, how are you looking at this particular avenue? And it may have been things that was outside of our radar, which quickly got inside the radar and, and the focus area. Um, but it, 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 was, uh, it was an easier way to have the conversation about a very complex um, uh, capability, but it was all around attributes that we want to be able to do. Because we say, geez, you want to be world class, right? Uh, as an example, um, from an identity uh, perspective, right? That, that means nothing to 99% of folks that's walking around. But when you said, would you, you, you want to be able to um, deliver certain types of capabilities. Like you want to be able to have all your contractors, employees, and workers have the right access at the right time. You want to reduce the time of, of, of uh, productivity uh, hits because it takes you, you know, you know, a month to get them all of the access that they may need to be able to perform the job. You want to reduce that, that, that lost productivity time. And so we talked about things like that. That, that then translated, well, geez, now I understand why that's important. We talked about, uh, you know, the complexity of the applications, right? Uh, when you have five or six different applications delivering the same capability and you're trying to, you know, you know put security in a single, uh, simple, um, uh, expandable way into it, but, you, but it doesn't translate because you have so much complexity in your application environment or infrastructure environment then that became important. So, so it was interesting just to hear the types of questions at the beginning of the conversation, right? Uh, versus a year later, versus three years later, the questions get so much more sophisticated because you, you, now you know they got it. So, it's, so it sounds like, it's, and it's a really interesting journey, right? It sounds like where you started was your own internal assessment of what the key risk areas were based on your technological infrastructure, right? Say, so like, we think these are the, the 10 risks or the 20 most significant risks of the company. And then it sounds like what you did is you actually built a really solid partnership with the board by asking them what did they think the key risks are. And rather than telling them what the risks were, you asked for their feedback and developed, based on that, a more comprehensive, more sophisticated set of set of risks that you identify as, okay, these are the ones that we're gonna hold most most dear. These are the ones that we're gonna be most focused on. Is that a fair way to say that? Yeah, and, and why? Right. right. And, and so we came out with a better product than we actually came in with. Um, and, and some of those things that, that failed became a lower priority, but they came back a year or two down the road. Right. Um, but it, it, and it, and it gave the, the board and the senior executives to some area to kind of wrap what's important for them right now.